main engine start. The Atlas V rocket carrying the Curiosity Mars rover took off on schedule from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. But this is just the beginning. The space vehicle carrying the rover and science laboratory will now travel more than 566 million kilometers, arriving at the Red Planet in early August of next year. Mars Science Laboratory Project Manager Pete Theisinger says the EDL, entry, descent and landing, will be the next big step in the mission. We all have our work cut out for us in the next eight and a half months to prepare for a, a surface mission and do the final uh, I-totting and T-crossing for EDL, but, but today's a great day. Landing the one-ton rover on the Mars surface will be a complicated procedure, with Curiosity being lowered by tether from a descent vehicle using thrusters for stability. Once on the surface, Curiosity will explore its landing site, a crater at the lower slope of a mountain, using a robotic arm and a camera mounted on its mast. What it finds could help NASA plan for a human mission to Mars in the distant future. This roving space lab can drill into rocks and extract samples for analysis. Curiosity is not seeking signs of life, but evidence that there might once have been conditions for life, as project scientist John Grutzinger explains. Our mission is about looking for ancient habitable environments and a time in the history of Mars that is very different from the time, from the conditions that you see today on the surface of Mars. The NASA team is aware of the challenge. Out of 40 attempts to send vehicles to Mars, 26 have failed. But when there has been success, it's been stunning. Going back to 1997 in the 9-kilogram Sojourner, the first ever wheeled rover on Mars. Curiosity is far bigger and much more sophisticated than anything else ever sent to the Red Planet, and scientific expectations are correspondingly high. Greg Flakus, VOA News, Houston.